Hello everyone. Welcome to the video on Postman mock servers. So what exactly are we going to do in this video? We are going to dance for you. Uh oh, I'm sorry. Maybe that was a bad joke. Yeah, so what exactly are we going to do in this video? We are going to learn what is a mock server and why it is required. And we are also going to create a mock server for gate and the post request and that to in postman. All right, so that's the agenda of this video. All right, so what is a mock server? So a mock server is a server that simulates the behavior of a real server, allowing the developers test their applications without relying on the real server. What does that mean? Let's say you are working on some client side application and it is in the development phase and your client side application is dependent on a server side application. So you send a request and the server side responds to you with the response. All right, everything looks good. But what happens your server side code is also under development or for some reason it is not working, maybe network problem or uh, some other kind of problem is there. So it is not working. In that case, are you going to stop your development? That will be a very bad idea, right? So in that case, the mock server comes into picture and all it says that, hey, why don't you use me instead of sending your request to the server side application? You just send the request to me and I will be sending you the same response that your server side would have generated. That looks very easy, right? So that's what we are going to do. We are going to fake this server side application with a postman mock server. All right. So finally, I just wanted to say that this is my channel and you know what is this and I hope you have understood what it is trying to say. Hey, look at this. This is my channel and you need to click on this subscribe button so that it will give me more motivation to make more such videos like this. So let's move to our postman console. So we are on to our postman console. Hopefully you have a postman installed in your system and you should have a working internet connection in order to create a mock server. So how do we create a mock server? You see this new button here or uh, there is a mock server in here. So you can create either way. You can create a mock server from here or you can click on new and click on this mock server. In here, create a mock server select a collection to mock. So you must be having a collection that you want to mock. In case you don't have a collection, you have to create a collection in order to mock it. So uh, we have two things here. One is the get request and one is the post request. So for the get request, uh, this is a get call. The request URL I will be keeping is users. And the response code is 200 and in the response body, I will just give status status as success. All right. So I have done creating a get request. I also have a post request and this post request is having users details and this post request endpoint is users user details. I want a 200 success response with the response body. Let me copy the response body. This is the response body that we want in this request. So I will just keep it in response body. It doesn't matter whatever you keep it for now. You can edit it whatever you want. And in this response body place, you should be using the response that your the real server would have generated. All right. So you can edit it at later point also. Now, I also want to keep a request body along with this post request. So I can go ahead and add a request body in this one. And request body that I want to send is a mobile number. And with that mobile number, the response will be generated in this one. So the request body, I've kept it just a mobile number. Now click on next. And in here, you have to give the name of the mock server. You can give any name. So I have given my channel name Technotab mock server. And if you have any environment, you can just select that. 
if you don't have not a problem but you can just create a new one from this save the mock url as a new environment you can also make this server as a private that will require a x api key it will be provided by postman only so let's create the mock server okay so our mock server is created this is the end point of that mock server copy this url and let's look at the collection that got created okay so this is the collection that got created so techno tab mock server this is the get request and this is the post request if you expand this you will be seeing one example that is by default in the post request as well you will be seeing an example that is by default so when you try to send this get request with this slash users you should be able to get the response that you have set initially all right this is the url of the mock server that automatically got generated and if you don't have that url you can just go to the mock server click on the mock server name and you can copy this url and you can replace url with that one with your mock server url and now when you send the request you should be able to see a status as success all right so this is how you mock a get request this response is a html response with a status code as 200 right let's see if you don't like this response you can very well go ahead and change it by clicking on this default and changing your html to json you can add any more fields that you want to this request all right and just save this now when you go to this request again and now send it you will be able to see your changes in the response all right so this is how you mock a get request now similarly you can mock the post request as well this is the url user details is the end point and in the body it's automatically a uh, mobile is there and the response that we have set we will be able to see it in this request all right if you want to make any change to this response you can very well go ahead and do it in the body as well you can do it click on save and now when you send the post request you will be able to see those changes all right so this is the default response that you will be getting and this is how you create a mock server now uh, you can add as many examples as you want let's say i want one more example i will just duplicate it and i want to get a conditional response like this is 200 but sometimes i want to get a 400 as well let me rename it first so you can just go ahead and edit your uh, response you want a 400 in this case so it's a 400 bad request and what's the status you want failure test failed okay just click on the save button and if you try to send this one you will not be able to get this 400 error you will only get the old one and that's what our next video will be so for this video we will be limiting ourselves to only get the default response but in the next video we will be mocking the responses based on some kind of parameter that will be a conditional response and also we will be making this uh, responses a little dynamic because these are hard coded responses and uh, we will be making it a little bit dynamic which will be looking more realistic like a real server all right so if you have learned something today i request you to please subscribe to the channel and click on the like button and if you have any feedback or any request for the videos you can just write it in the comment section I will be very happy to help you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.